What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about the year of patches. There's been a lot of stuff going on this year as far as video games coming out, released, and having major issues when they hit the consumer's hands. Uh, we've had some major, major AAA games come out and they come out broken. Watch Dogs is one of them. Watch Dogs had major issues. We've had Drive Club very recently for the PlayStation 4 come out and it's totally unplayable because of the network. PlayStation Network was having a lot of issues with that game and even the people who bought the full-fledged version of the game were unable to play it and enjoy it because they were unable to get online and enjoy what they were told they'd be able to enjoy. They were stuck playing single-player offline mode. It was so bad with Drive Club that the PlayStation Plus version of the game never even came out. It was put on hold indefinitely and at this point I'm not expecting a damn thing. So that was another issue. Recently, very recently, we had the Evolve Big Alpha come out for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Now the latter two, everything worked fine. PlayStation Network, nope. I downloaded the 12 gig game, or the demo I should say, and I was unable to play it at all. I got done with the downloading process and I counted my chickens before they hatched. I was not able to get into it because PlayStation's Network Update 2.00 did not allow it. It was just a terrible experience. Of course, when this was happening, there were a lot of guys who were fanboys at heart, which, you know, in my own way, I'm a fanboy, but I'm trying to grow up and trying to get out of that mode and, uh, you know, appreciate more that life has to offer than PlayStation. And uh, now we've got issues on the Xbox One. Xbox One, the number one game that they've been excited about and really amping up is the Master Chief Collection. Master Chief Collection came out Tuesday, which is yesterday, and uh, the game has major, major game-breaking issues. They're having lots and lots of server issues. Uh, they have, you know, issues joining a lobby, matchmaking issues. People can't get into an online game. Some of the guys who bought the game immediately were stuck playing single player, which is a, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Halo is, you know, the story for Halo games has always been pretty good. But for those who like to just go into the multiplayer and get into that, they were unable to do it because of server issues. Now, it's just really disappointing and, and frustrating. And now Assassin's Creed Unity came out yesterday as well. Assassin's Creed Unity is having game-breaking lag. It's having pop-in. It's having texture... <laughs> pop in and it's having frame rate dips. Now the game is locked at 30 uh, frames per second from the PS4 and the Xbox One. So it's already only pumping out 30 frames. But when a lot of things happen, the frames drop to a point that is extremely noticeable. So I can only imagine. I didn't buy Assassin's Creed. I'm not really big on Assassin's Creed. But uh, you know the developers for uh, Master Chief Collection and Assassin's Creed have come out with statements that they're aware of these issues and they are planning to patch them AS ASAP. What do I say about this? This is BS, man. This is absolute BS. And I know you guys, some of you guys are like, man, it's not a big deal. Your $60 is a big deal. That money could be going someplace else. That money could be going to a product that works. If you buy a music album, which I don't know many people do anymore, but if you go into a music store and you buy a CD from your favorite artist, and you put, put it inside your CD player, and, and it starts skipping around, and you can't hear it, and then... The artist issues a statement that they're going to send you a patch and they'll fix your CD at a later date. That's unacceptable. To buy a product, you should buy what you are promised you're going to, to, to receive. If they tell you that you're going to be able to play these games, you're going to be able to enjoy them in a certain way, get online, match make, play with your friends, and the game comes out and that's not an option, I feel we've been duped by these developers. These developers, hey, they get their money, they get their cut. You know, the, the, their shareholders are happy, but you're stuck holding the bag with a game that's performing mediocrely, if that's a word. And if you ask me, it's un, it's unscrupulous, it's just wrong to do that to the people who are supporting you, the people who are paying your bills. If you're a developer, there's nothing wrong with delaying a game. Delay it until it's fixed. Don't ship it in a condition that's going to, you know, have people rioting in the streets because your game doesn't work battlefield if a game is not working get your testers on it have active alphas and active betas let people know what's going on you'll get feedback and you'll be able to repair the issues but these 
network issues seem to be very prevalent right now. It's like every game coming out is having these issues. And I'm at the point now where if it's an online game, I'm expecting it to be bad. I'm expecting it to be, you know, a broken experience. Assassin, not Assassin's Creed, I'm sorry. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the game you guys see before you. PS4, Xbox One, PC, major, major network issues. Lag, matchmaking, emblems disappearing, glitches, all kinds of stuff. That's unacceptable if you ask me. Now, I don't like spending my money on a product I have to wait for it to be corrected. I think that's wrong. But unfortunately, these games, I bought the, the digital version and there's nothing I can do about it. But now we got some other games coming out. We've got Dragon Age Inquisition coming out. We've got, that's really the, the one I'm looking forward to the most, actually. We got a couple more uh, games coming out. We got Smash Brothers coming out for the Nintendo Wii U. You know, we, we had, I was looking forward to Bloodborne, but Bloodborne actually got uh, delayed from February to March, which is actually probably a good thing because they see all this other shit that's going on with these other developers. If you have a game that's not performing up to par or a game that's not doing as well as you think it should, Delay it. Don't send it to your consumer that way. You're going to lose them forever. Lots and lots of people are upset with Assassin's Creed. That you're seeing characters pop up. That's unacceptable. This is supposed to be the next generation. This is supposed to be the future of gaming. You know, back when I was playing Ridge Racer in 1996 on my PlayStation, I'd saw, I'd see pop in. I'd see pop up and on the horizon. Buildings popping up. But back then it was acceptable. Nowadays it's not acceptable. Especially if you're running 30 frames per second locked. It means you put too much shit on the, on, the, on the level at a time. Don't try to overdo it. You're going to overcompensate and screw yourself. Screw the pooch. Make a game, and when it's right, release it. You know? If it's not right, it's going to be wrong forever. And I'm just tired of wasting my money on mediocre experiences. I'm tired of wasting my money on games that don't work. There's so many great games out that do work. You know? Shadows of Mordor is a game that works. I want to play games that work. Bayonetta 2 is a game that works. I want to play something that works. I don't want to waste my time, effort, and money on a game that was promised and once it's delivered, it's not the same experience. I'm tired of it. I'm sure a lot of you guys are too. Be sure to sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what game you got burnt on and what are you excited about? There's a lot of new stuff coming out. I'm personally only excited right now for Smash Brothers. And if that game comes out broken, I'm going to raise hell because that game cannot be broken. Just do what you did with Mario Kart 8. Keep the infrastructure the same. Keep the games tight. Keep that network tight and we'll be all right. If you guys like this video, show it and give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.